Hey, hey, hey there, folks. John Pesker, bringing another audio commentary. And um, today we have game two of uh, the recent Zotac finals between Grubby and Violet. This is going to be an Orc Mirror. The score is currently 1 0 to Violet, actually. So um, this map was Grubby's pick. It's Echo Isles. Uh, but it looks like we're going to be seeing. Um, uh, or th this is going to be um, uh, an Orc Mirror on Echo Isles. So generally it's quite standard. But this replay got very high reviews for some reason. So hopefully it's going to produce some sort of really interesting strategies maybe we could see a forest here we've been seeing a lot of them recently in orc mirrors although certainly they're a lot more popular on lands whereas this is sort of netherlands to korea so it's um, a, a lot higher latency even if it's being played on ggc uh but um i haven't actually done a commentary for quite a while so i hope you've all been okay uh, obviously uh, starcraft 2 has been released and all that stuff so hopefully a couple of you will still be tuning in you won't have all converted over yet um i Pretty much won't. I mean, I, I probably I'm gonna play it a bit. I might do some commentaries on it eventually, but I'm gonna buy a new computer first. Actually, I'm gonna build a new computer first, which is gonna be exciting and a colossal time sink, I'm sure. But um, it looks like we're seeing actually Grubby going for a slightly earlier scout. Uh, sort of obviously you do generally see very very similar builds, but on Echo Alice you can afford to scout a bit later, which is what Violet's doing here because the spawns are so close and because there's only one spawn as well. You can get away with that, and you can see Grubby's going to actually um, see what's going on a bit, er bit earlier, but he's going to have to keep his peon around to make sure that it is a blade master and not a farseer, whereas, fo whereas um, sorry, it's Violet, isn't it? Yeah, whereas Violet's going to be able to get right in there in time. Actually, no, what's his peon doing? His peon's actually going down, so he's not going to be scouting out whether or not it's a blade master. He's probably just going to rely on it um, being one, and then... Um, just look for those wolves which will be turning up in his base if it is um, a Farseer but it looks like it is a Blade Master mirror unfortunately and so we are going to be seeing both sides going for the very standard creeping here both sides are going to take out this um, ogre uh, pick up the item and then you can see actually very nice play there by Grubby and I imagine um, Violet's on the same thing or actually yeah, Violet didn't need to but you do need to pull back your um, your Blade Master once your grunt comes up so that he's uh, your grunt's ensnared for as little time as possible and it can actually um, do some damage uh, while it's ensnared and it's pretty tricky to get it um, not ensnared. You do need to have um, good wind walk timing basically and it looks like a Grubby picking up a Ring of Protection, not a good item for him. Circle of Nobility, excellent, excellent item for Violet. I mean, it's um, up there basically with uh, Claws of Attack is the thing you want. But it uh, looks like uh, Violet's actually going to wait for his um, Voodoo Launch to finish. And it's so tricky with these um, Orc Mirrors because your Voodoo Launch always finishes a tiny bit later than you'd like to. Um, pretty much no matter where you put it, it's just always a bit too slow. So you do need to waste a couple of seconds. It looks like actually Violet's going to chase down this one Peon as well. Going to get that kill and then probably uh, creep out to level 2 now. Meanwhile, Grubby could be doing a similar thing here. Actually, it looks like he's not going to pick off the Peon. Uh, Violet was a bit more careful. And so both sides will be attacking and what their texts will be so similar times. Uh, yeah, it was just so, so similar. Grubby sort of a couple of seconds ahead. But certainly that's... um. Not too big a deal. All Violet needs to do is stick on his a bit closer to his half of the base and or his half of the map, and he'll he will be fine. A couple crits there, taking out that peon handily for Grubby. And it looks like um Violet is actually creeping out this camp here with just his Blade Master. Really ambitious. It's really nice to creep this out with grunts if you can. And so um oops, excuse me, folks. <laughs> okay, sorry about that, folks. It looks like actually a uh, Grubby coming in here. Gonna steal that one. Um. Uh, that one berserker and then gonna probably get out of there and meanwhile Violet might try and um, creep out the other ones. No, it looks like, actually no, he's coming back in with his grunts, very very nice. As I say, grunts um very useful for taking out that berserker <coughs> because obviously the um, attack type is just so handy there and those berserkers do pretty much all the damage at that camp and it looks like Grubby actually might catch those grunts off card but you can see Grubby just wary of that blade master being around and that blade master now with two circlets, uh, one presumably bought at the uh, shop. Uh, whereas Grubby with much um, inferior items, he did manage to snag those boots, so that is really, really important to get those boots. And uh, it just means that Violet's probably going to have to buy the boots a bit later, and so it's going to be the same um, investment, but just he gets less value from it over the course of the game. And it looks like uh, Grubby's tech uh, is getting close to being done, obviously Violet's getting close to being done as well. And it looks like actually Grubby coming in yet again, uh, Violet trying to creep out this camp, but Grubby just not going to let it happen. Just constantly coming in, going to try and steal it again. Will he be able to? Ooh, he came in for that last hit there. And then he used Windwalk, obviously trying to psych Violet out, but it didn't work. Violet managed to get that last hit there, and he is now level 2, although um, significantly later than Grubby hit his level 2. And looks like uh, Grubby 
just lingering around there, did buy the dust, which is obviously another very, very critical item, and is now creeping out this camp, picking up a Tome Agility plus two, very nice item there for that Blade Master. Obviously you do need as much attack as you can get, and plus some, um, once you have a Spirit Link and Healing Wave and all that stuff, all the extra armor really pays dividends, it just is worth so much more. I mean, all Violet knows that there's, um, gr that Grubby's in sort of the opposite corner, so he can very happily creep out that uh, Ogre Magi there. Very nice camp to creep out, because there's so many good items that you can drop, either for the Blade Master or possibly for the Shadow Hunter which will undoubtedly be the second um, hero we see come out now and even now uh, using that dust there, Potion of Greater Healing, fantastic item there uh, it's so easy to get your Blade Master into trouble and uh, that Potion of Greater Healing can just completely save you and then um, obviously you're going to have all these other items as well and as I say actually um, a Potion of Greater Healing combines really well with things like Spirit Link because you sort of get all the armor effects. Actually, both Blade Master's really low here. Violet uses his um, push grade healing already so they continue to pressure Grubby, but it looks like Grubby's just going to try and get out of there, and this is really, um, uh, really, really tricky for Grubby now. He just needs to keep his uh, low grunts protected, and you can see he's actually sort of sacrificing some health on his higher hit point grunts to keep his uh, low hit point grunts healthy, and it looks like actually Grubby going for a standard build here, and I imagine we'll be seeing a very similar thing from uh, Violet Possibly, um, ooh, actually no Spirit Lodge yet. Oh no, sorry, it's just a bit further down. Uh, yeah, it looks like a, a Violet Spirit Lodge is a bit late, and uh, his um, hero is a bit later as well, but that's not too big a deal, because Grubby's hero is already out, but Violet knows he has to be careful, and so he's just going to be um, sort of sticking on his side of the map. You can see he's running back, he just doesn't want to be caught before his Shadow Hunter comes out, and, and uh, Grubby now hitting level 3 already on his Blade Master. Very nice creeping here, although 2 rings of protection, 11 armor on that Blade Master. That's so annoying, and Grubby, yeah, it looks like he actually uh, got caught out a bit there by that um, by that uh, mirror image, unfortunately, and so he, uh, he will have to um, uh, just go uh, creep somewhere else. And it looks like actually now that the Shadow Hunter is out, Grubby can creep out with or can um, harass with his level three Blade Master so handily. That's such a nice thing to have. And meanwhile, uh, the Shadow Hunter for uh, Violet's just coming out now. You can see he's picked up uh, some similar items. You always want to pick up a whole bunch of items on your Shadow Hunter when he comes out, uh, just because that Shadow Hunter can be pretty fragile and having lots of mana and a way to escape and all that stuff is just so so critical. And meanwhile, it looks like Grubby's first Raider is now out, and his first um, Spirit Walker will be out very shortly as well. Violet looks of things. Where is it? Yep, it's kind of just coming out now. And uh, Violet now actually harassing himself. He is level 3 as well, so just both players doing the exact same thing. This is sort of the perfect, perfect build for Orc, and so this is just why it happens so frequently. And uh, Grubby actually creeping out this camp now. It's a, I'm not a big fan of creeping out this camp as Orc, just because of um, these poison creeps. It's just a bit annoying because they poison all your units, and then you have to heal them all back up, which is obviously expensive with the healing salve, which isn't area of effect or anything. But it looks like actually Violet could uh, steal one creepier if he's willing to give up his wind walk just for a really, really pathetic creep. Uh, that could be um, a choice he wants to make, but no, he goes for the um, Nightcrawler instead. Gets a ton of agility as well. That Blade Master is looking very, very nice at this point. S um, s two circlets, boots, and oh my god, I very much like the uh, uh, Wand of Illusion as well. So you do have to use it a bit earlier. And meanwhile, it looks like Grubby's just going to be doing some creeping, not going to be harassing. Really interesting choice there by him because it's going to be a long time before he actually gets uh, much value from that, just because obviously level four Blade Master uh, sort of better than a level three Blade Master certainly because that. Um, critical strike is useful, but it's not as um, important as stopping this um, Shadow Hunter from leveling, and this Shadow Hunter is getting very close to level um, 2 here for Violet. Meanwhile, both Blade Masters meeting here at the sh shop, but Grubby is invisible, and uh, goes and picks up a um, Invon Pot. Meanwhile, it uh, looks like a um, Oh wow, very nice uh, dust there uh, by Violet, who did pick up that scroll of healing. But he must have noticed the Invon Pot uh, went just as he was running away, and so he decided to pop that dust just to be safe. And very, very um, nifty play there uh, by um, Violet, who's definitely playing on top of his game. As I say, he's already 1 0 up in this series, and um, it looks like actually uh, Forest here for, for Grubby, or sorry, um, Shadow Hunt for Grubby, just hitting level 2 now. And actually, you can see they're both creeping out the same camp, but this um, Shadow Hunter for Violet's getting very close to 3, so Grubby not in a good position so far in this game. Obviously, Zotac finals are a best of 5, so Grubby doesn't need to win this, but certainly it'd be very, very handy if he could. And uh, was that another Boots that got dropped there? I think it must have been another Boots. Uh, not a bad item, certainly, but I think uh, there's many, many better items that could have um, been picked up there. Obviously, Pendant of uh, Mana is one of them. Uh, what did um, Violet get? Vi oh, Ring of Protection, not a good item there for Violet, although Grubby did get a lot of Ring of Protection's early game, so perhaps this is just balancing it out a small bit. It looks like uh, the Grubby's Blade Master realizes he's going to need to get out of here. Kodo now up for Violet, does Grubby have his 
Koto up? Yes, his is just finished as well. And it looks like actually both um, players are at 50 food, presumably, then. Uh, you find that at 49, but yeah. So um, we both players will probably be seeking out a fight at this point. Uh, Violet actually sort of just now realizing this marketplace is... Uh, has been crept out, perhaps he was hoping to creep it out before he hit, and it uh, looks like uh, he's actually going to move back instead, knowing that uh, Grubby might be somewhere else and might be about to pounce on him, and so you do need to be so careful with positioning, making sure that your base isn't overly exposed, because obviously uh, you don't really have a TP at this point in the game, uh, you sell your TP very early on, and it's possible that you'll rebuy one later, uh, depending on how aggressive you want to be and um, sort of how big the map is, things like that. But I think in this situation, we're actually not too likely to be seeing um, TPs being rebought after they've um, been sold. And you can see Grubby bringing in these peons now, absolutely critical. Uh, something that Violet isn't yet doing. He's getting a bit more lumber first, getting a lot of upgrades as well, actually. Uh, and he, Gr Violet's very well set for lumber at this point. I think he could afford just to um, bring out those peons. Grubby actually even better set for lumber, 350 lumber in the bank. Uh, that's definitely going to be enough for a very, very long time. Grubby